Hello and welcome to this latest episode from A Beaten Track Leisure. My name's Wayne. I'm Sarah. And today we're talking about camper van clubs, caravan clubs, motorhome clubs, all the same thing to us as beginners. So is it worth joining them? What are the pros and cons of the caravan and motorhome club, the camping and caravan club, or some of the other clubs that exist? There are a multitude of clubs in the UK but the two main ones, as we've just described, the CAMC, the Caravan and Motorhome Club, traditionally called the Caravan Club, and it obviously incorporated motorhomes because of the modern day transition into people owning motorhomes, especially after the pandemic. And then there's the Camping and Caravan Club, the oldest club, both top sites in the UK, both have their pros and cons. So let's get on with it then. So at the end of this video, if you stick around, we're going to tell you whether we believe, as beginners, it's worth joining the Caravan and Motorhome Club or the Camping and Caravan Club. So stick around for that. So first, Sarah, I think we'll discuss the Caravan and Motorhome Club. Now, this is the biggest club in the UK. Now, when we say club, these are really businesses, aren't they? Yes. Um, the Caravan and Motorhome Club has almost 200 club sites in the UK and it also has 2,000 certified listings. Now certified listings are small affiliated sites and it might be on somebody's farm or a paddock at the back of their house and they're allowed to have five pitches for caravans, motorhomes, camper vans and with other clubs as well you also sometimes have some tent pitches. So they're very nice. If you want a certain location, we've stayed at a few CL certified listings. They're really nice. And really also, good value. Also, they offer what they're great for is quite often these smaller CL sites, as, as Wayne's just said, the five, they're adult only. So that's kind of nice when, when the kids have gone away to camp or, or it's just the two of you, that's fantastic because they're really small and um, bijou and, yes. and really and, quiet. And represent good value. Most of them have electric hookup, but obviously if you have electric hookup, you pay a little bit extra. But a lot of these sites start at £15 a night, so they represent good value. So the Caravan and Motorhome Club, some of the club benefits that they put forward are you can save 10% at their club shop. Save up to 10% on everything from solar panels to awnings, chairs to puncture repair kits. They've got everything you need. And we've made a purchase from that. We saved a few pounds, so that all goes towards the membership, which at the moment is heading towards about 60 pounds at the time of this video. UK site offers. So today on caravan, motorhome and camping sites with great value offer. So basically, if you're a member of their club, you will get cheaper accommodation at their sites. Now there's a question mark over whether the, what they've done is just made the sites a certain price and then added on an extra for non-members. Because from what we can gather, obviously we're beginners, these clubs have been hyped up in price uh, for the site stays over the last two or three years. Uh, where before it was uh, represented a cheap family stay away, now you're talking at some clubs, some of the prestigious ones in the UK, up to sort of £50 a night. Now, whether you think that's value or not is, is obviously it's uh, subjective to you. So some of the other value that the Caravan and Motorhome Club offers, uh, they overseas holidays, venture abroad and access hundreds of beautiful overseas campsites. Ferry savings, now I know this would mean a lot to, to a lot of people, these people that travel abroad, um, you can book a ferry to Europe on Euro Tunnel, Le Shuttle Crossing for the lowest prices. So you could probably do one or two of them and make your membership money back that way. And can I just reiterate the sixty pound, Wayne? You said sixty pound. It's about sixty pound. We reckon that's annual. That's an annual fee. An that annual you're cost. Paying. Yes. Thank you. Financial services. Members get access to our cover and insurance products designed for your needs. So, if you like to, you know, know that you're getting good value with your insurance products for your camper van, and this is a very expensive purchase, as we know, um, they offer a fully comprehensive cover uh, that can suit everyone. We found it easier to, to shop around for insurance, to, to make savings, and made sure we got one that was within spec. That's you, isn't it, Wayne? You're like a, a Martin Lewis Thanks, in Martin disguise. Thanks, Martin Lewis, yeah, for all the <laughs> advice you give us. Uh, the UK Sites app, their free UK Sites app allows you to search, book, and amend your campsites on the go. Uh, to be fair, as these clubs go, their app was very very good and you could book sites on there check availability and recently there's been a change in the caravan and motorhome club where before people could just book up all the sites without leaving a deposit 
and all the prestigious ones that people wanted to stay at. They would just book them in January and then no one else could stay there and then they could cancel three days before with no penalty. So they've changed that to match some of the other clubs now where people will pay a deposit. So there's less chance of people just booking just for the sake of it. So that's I think that's a, a, posi better. that's a positive that change. A positive, so definitely. thank you for that CAMC. They offer expert advice from toilets to televisions. Like you do. Our technical team are here to help. So, you know, if you need that kind of help, they're there to help you. And and particularly, I think it's really good for, as beginners. for beginners. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you if you're searching for help, you go on these forums. There's always somebody there who's going to have the answer to yes. whatever query you have. Club forum, join their online community to share experience, advice, hints, and tips with other members. I must admit, I've not looked on there. I've not needed to. I like to do my research away from the actual affiliated. Uh, um, forums and sites because I feel it leaves a more open uh, kind of an agenda if yes. you like you know there's not no agenda there but then you could because of the way you are you go out and get your own independent advice yes but then potentially if it was myself I'd then come back into the forum just to kind of maybe do a tick on on what, what I'm finding yeah, certainly, there on yeah. the forum oh certainly if you and want it's great it's there isn't everything it? in one place yeah and one of the nicest kind of benefits of it, uh, and, you, and I know you, you uh, covet this more than me probably, is the club magazine. You actually get a proper in paper magazine sent through the post. And it's lovely to take away with you nice. with your sun shining and read all the latest news, the latest reviews on um, caravans, camper vans, motorhomes, sites, Absolutely. everything. It's all in what's, one place. Tre what's trending at the moment across yeah. the whole camping and caravan uh, arena so both here in the UK and abroad I really like it yeah it's a it's a it's a good magazine nice to still get traditional printed yes. paper on some things and I believe that's uh, certainly an advantage it them. is an advantage but again you know we are moving towards the whole um, you know, sustainability world. and digital world you yes. can opt out of that can't you and just go you can you have know, a digital, digital membership as well but we chose with the caravan motel yes. and it was the first club that we joined mainly because they have more sites and we stayed if you've seen our previous video we stayed at Hawes uh, in the Yorkshire Dales and that site is a CAMC site now just because we stayed there we stayed there for a week and the savings we made on being a member paid for our membership so it was definitely yes. good value there Great. so that's the main benefits the caravan and motorhome club the uk's largest motorhome club and i believe at the time of this video they've got approximately in their own words about three hundred and fifty thousand members so that's you know represents a huge proportion mm -hmm. of owners in the uk so now we switch our attention to the camping and caravan club uh, a very more they call themselves the friendly club the camping and caravan club have over a hundred club sites in the uk and 1200 cs sites and the cs sites are very much like the cl sites it's their version of it that's certified sites exactly the same kind of proposal small sites affiliated to people with five pitches there some with electric hookups some in beautiful places mm. some allowed to have tents not as slick as the other club this is more if you get more out of this this is more down to earth kind of organic <laughs> is a polite word club um we joined as a digital member for this one and i think we miss a magazine uh, i believe they do offer a, uh, a magazine as well that comes through the post just costs a little bit more we actually joined this one um during a visit somewhere else we wasn't going to join this club actually for reasons we'll come to in a minute I'm really glad we did. So the, the features and benefits of the Camping and Caravan Club. So they offer up to 30% off every club site booking and possible to get an extra 25% for over 60s. Now we've spoken to a few over 60s. We're not there yet, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately, well, I don't want to age before our time, sorry. No, I'm, I'm fortunate, but not that, oh, I'm, I'm digging a hole. Right, carry on. Uh, so yeah, you can get a benefit of being over 60 is you get another 25% off your stays at the Camping and Caravan Club. And it all helps, doesn't it, that? It yeah. all helps. And now one of the things that I believe really sells that club over the other one, and it is slightly cheaper to join this club, only about 10, 15 pounds. That's but, an annual cost, isn't it? Yes, yeah, another, another annual cost. Access to meet up and rallies. Now, these are literally run by members of the club and you'll have a big event somewhere and it could be an aerodrome or a festival and you'll all head there and it's uh, well organized and, and very good value you're talking sometimes 10 pounds a night 
and for some events with music and everything you can go for a whole weekend in your unit for maybe 60 pounds to 100 pounds represents a really good value and you need to be a member don't you to take advantage of these rallies yes you do the rallies the temporary holiday sites and the district associations now how we found out about this we weren't members of the camping and caravan club but we attended a festival in the van we wanted to go to a festival in the van and we we pulled up in the night we pitched up went to bed woke up in the morning and a chap come over and said uh, oh uh, are you members of the camping and caravan club no uh, you're pitched in an area which is part of the camping and caravan club we're a district association okay i didn't even know what that meant at the time but basically the Camping and Caravan Club has district associations, so it might be East Kent or West Sussex or East Ang you know, West Essex. Um, it, every area is represented basically in the UK. And basically, these are volunteer led, really, as we yes. understand. Very that, well, yeah, you know, led. you may have a, an avid um, touring chat part of a caravan or club, and he's decided he's created this. Yeah. this rally has it pretty much that's how it is and then obviously it's just grown from there but it's almost like you need to be in the know and I'll let you continue there way no no that's true and this is the best benefit of the camping and caravan club I'd say join it because mm. you will get to stay Fantastic. at places off-grid if you can go off-grid for a night or two you basically get stays in the summer once we discovered this at this festival and we joined uh, while we were there we were staying at places off-grid for £10 a night brilliant really lovely settings uh, some in big fields uh, really friendly and they the people play games you can join in with others and people are so helpful they'll tell you and at the time we didn't we even know to lives. use the cassette toilets and, and things like that people were just so helpful we learned absolutely loads at from those doing rallies. those rallies yeah. and do you know what probably more Yes. than we did at, when we stayed at the uh, traditional, traditional site. campsites. However, as people I say, on holiday, yeah. but again, you need to be part of the club, don't you? You yes. can't just pitch up at a rally. Definitely. So it's definitely worth it just for that. If, even if you don't stay at a camping and caravan club site, the district associations, go on your Facebook page, find your local one, whatever area you're in. Search for a district association for whatever area you're in. Sign up for it. Uh, usually there'll ask for your membership number. And then um, basically you'll get all the notifications of what's going on and there's something going on nearly every week, especially in the summer. And some of them were at sites in, say, in Devon, for example, oh, where you would be spending, and this will be a temporary holiday site. And now this site would maybe cost £40 a night at any other given time. But through them, it would be £12 a night uh, for exactly the same yes. site in summer for a month. And you can go any time in between that date when they're there for that time. And did they have... They gave us a magazine, didn't they? Not not all of them. There's one for called that. Out and About, which yes. is uh, you you can get digital copy. We're digital members, so we get that, and it basically tells you all the events as well. So, you know, it's how it, we're waxing lyrical about that because we really took advantage of that. We to did. be honest, the other uh, benefits of that club, just to finish off their part of it, is um, exclusive discounts. A bit like their caravan and motorhome club so you can get discounts at places like go outdoors and things like that. so if you use that you, and if you can get like 20 percent off and that, another way you can pay for your membership there uh, and they also offer discounted breakdown cover and insurance as well so th there's the online aspect of it is not very slick it's a bit clunky the website uh, they're not as slick but if you can make use of what they do offer represents very good value indeed now to the important part do we think it's worth joining well, both of these clubs, because now we're members of both, aren't we? So as a beginner, we're going to tell it as. So Sarah, I'll start with you. What do you think? So as a beginner, definitely. So we got the van in, in the July, as you know, mid-July this year. And absolutely, it's been worth our while joining both of these clubs because um, both of them have given us something. We've stayed a hell of a lot of the sites at their caravan and motorhome club, probably just because of where our van is stored up. But nevertheless, as a beginner, I'm so pleased that we've joined both of them. Yeah. Now, if, um, if we was to move forward, what we would say, and we've been having that conversation, but that's probably for another time. Well, yeah, I, I would say, 
The Caravan and Motorhome Club we joined first, mainly because they had more sites. And on the night we picked up the van, we wanted to stay at a Caravan and Motorhome Club site. So we stayed there, we saved 15 pounds straight away back from the 57, I think it was for that year, um, straight away. And with these sites, you know exactly what you're gonna get. A very well run, organized site with good facilities, clean facilities, cleaned regularly. Um, they look after you. Some people say that the rules are a bit strict on some of them. We don't know any different. We find them fine, as long as you stick to, to what they're telling you. Uh, Caravan and Motown Club, yeah, it was worth joining because we stayed, we got our money back within a few weeks just at staying at sites. And then the Camping and Caravan Club, which we didn't intend to join right at the start, has definitely been worth it. We used that more once we'd discovered it. Yes. But what I will say as a caveat to all of this, you do not have to join any of these. You really don't have to, because now we know a little bit about it. We'll say, for example, now, uh, we're now staying at a site called Polstead Country Club. We'll do a separate video about that. But this site, until very recently, was a camping and caravan club site. And you know what? I've been trying to book here for the last five, six months, and it was continuously booked up. You had to book well in advance. Very, very popular site. But it was recently sold to new owners, and they've decided that they don't want to be affiliated with that club anymore. So now it's a private club. So you'll find these sites on apps such as Search for Sites. So if you got, you got your phone, Android or iPhone, look for Search for Sites. You can download it for free, but to get good use out of it, it's five pounds for a year. And you can type in an area, or you can see on the map an area, and it will tell you every single campsite in that area, and whether it's Caravan and Motorhome Club, Camping and Caravan Club, Independent, a pub stop, uh, any other type of stop, basically every single site that's available. You do not have, there's plenty of sites available that are not affiliated to any of them two clubs. And we're at the Polstead Country Club, which was one I couldn't book before, and we're staying there for a similar cost to what it was in the Camping and Caravan Club. And uh, we managed to get a booking and, and it's a very nice site. So, you know, and I will definitely be coming back here and this isn't affiliated now to any club. So you do not have to join any, but I'd say if you really had to choose between both of them, I think I'd go with the Camping and Caravan Club just yes. for the district associations and temporary holiday sites, because that even will save you more. Not, even though they don't offer as many sites, Yes, because, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the thing. I mean, when you're talking about these clubs, we're talking about £60 and £50, it's £110. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money, but it's got to represent value, yes. hasn't it? If you're going to use their sites, then obviously it's worth joining it. But in most places, if you're not fussy about where you're going, you'll find a site in an area through one of the apps. Use yes. Pitch Up, search for sites. There's so many of them. You do not have to join these clubs, as I say. And then once you're in these clubs, you, you do have to abide by their rules. I don't really notice rules and regulations because, you know, to me, there's just um, standard practice and, yes. and manners and everything. So I don't really understand what the issue is with some people. I'm not saying, I'm not dismissing your, the issues you might have. And if you have had issues, please tell us in the comments below and then we can pass on that advice to others. But I would say definitely as beginners, join both of them if you can if you can afford to join both join both and then look at it after a year yeah, and which decide. is what we're doing isn't it we're starting now to think about whether going forward we continue with the two or whether we go with just the one of them or neither and of course we'll come later in July and let you know what our decision um, was on that one so there you go that's our advice on that anyway as beginners as always with us at the moment so I hope you enjoyed that content and we'll hopefully see you on the next one thanks very much for watching and please leave a comment below if you if you've got any advice yourself on any of the clubs or what you've learned yourselves thanks very much for watching bye